Hello, everybody. I am joined by Fedor Holtz, which I am so, so, so lucky. I know, really, I just heard about your, um, you know, heads up challenge on Monday. And I thought, okay, there's no chance in hell I'm going to get him on the podcast. He's probably so busy just training or watching videos or I don't know, whatever it is that you're doing, but you agreed to give us 30 minutes of your life. And I am so grateful, Fedor. Welcome. Always nice to talk to you, Sarah. <laughs> Okay, so let's just first, I do also want to talk about just a couple of other things that you have going on in your life. You always, you know, a multifaceted gentleman with lots of things on his plate. I would like to just touch on those. But before that, let's just get right into it. Give me the juicy details. Give me the backstory. What was sort of the inspiration to be like, yeah, let's just do this. Let's, let's heads up for roles or whatever we're calling it now. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't call it heads up for roles, but it's uh, I, I'm excited. It's mostly the the background behind the challenge against Victor is really just fun and entertainment. Um, so I've been I, I saw him on Joey's podcast. I found it uh, found him a super fun character, and I think the way he got it across was uh, was fun. So I was I was picking up on that and was like, okay, um, once the Daniel against Dark challenge is over, let's do something um that's that's how it all started and then we discussed terms and now really quickly we put something together and the part that i am most excited about is that people can watch it with whole cards and we're going to be uh on on video call and we can see each other and talk to each other so that's uh that's just going to be i think a fun a fun heads up challenge it's that's something we talked about a lot with the daniel and doug challenge you know because i think initially they had also discussed maybe playing some other games, but then they were like, nobody's gonna probably wanna watch that. Everybody of course wants to watch Heads Up No Limit, but without whole cards for a big portion of the audience, you're just like missing a, an element. Um, so I'm super excited about that also. Um, but there is a, also another element to your guys' challenge. And I don't know if this is legit, but are you guys gonna be drinking wine? Uh, that's how he, that's how he, <laughs> put out the challenge was like he, he can play me drunk and no problem like uh so yeah um that will happen he will he will be drinking uh, i may join in at some point um but yeah mostly uh mostly he confirmed that he will be drunk while playing so let's see oh my gosh i love it yeah and i'm kind of with you like i don't know how much of this guy's shtick is real or how much of it is a character but either way it's pretty funny and I'm interested to see uh, how the whole thing plays out. Now, me too. Doug just sort of called you both out, I guess, a couple days ago, maybe, and was like, oh, yeah, everyone would just love to play Fedor heads up. And this limitless guy is basically a joke who just like talks trash on podcasts. What would your response to the ever trash talking Doug be? <laughs> um, I think that. I, I don't think I'm a talk. I, I think that's also what what has been maybe mistakenly understood within what I said is I I don't think I'm a you know top ten heads up player or anything like that. I think um, there's uh, I actually don't know how good I am. I haven't really played much volume. I really enjoy it. I for me the challenge is really about um, learning something myself and then trying to beat him. Like obviously I will try my best to to play as good as I can. But really, it, at the end, if I lose, I will. It would have like it will be a great experience, and if I win, it will be great experience. So that's why, why I do it. Um, just looking at the Doug against Daniel challenge, I just wanted to do it in a way. All the things that I I was wishing for is like, hey, you know, they, I would have wished they played. You know, you could see the cards, or they would talk to each other while playing. And so I was just like, okay, and and also maybe for less hands um that's exactly what what we're doing is is less hands more intense on stream you can see the cards um we talk to each other there's little side bets he's going to be drinking like stuff like this is a more building around having fun and, and entertaining to watch than around hey i'm the best in the game and i, I want to take the top spot around victor's skill level i think victor is very very good at poker I've not never played him before. I think in heads up, I don't think we played a single hand, so I I don't really know. Um, I think that Doug is very very good at heads up. I think his team is really really good, um, and yeah, for me it's not such an ego thing. Like I, I'm not going in here saying, oh, I'm the 
a big dick Fedor. It's more like I, I want to play for fun and, and that's what I'm here for. And I'll do my best, uh, of course. That makes a lot of sense. We're, we're doing it for, for entertainment and it most certainly is, is setting up to be entertaining. Now, you mentioned a little bit, you know, Doug's team. I know Daniel and Doug spent a lot of time training, mm. you know, preparing, studying, a lot of hours within the context of the three or four months that they were actually playing, going back through things with their team. Your guys' situation is significantly shorter. The amount of time to prepare is also significantly shorter. So uh, what what are you doing at the moment, if anything? I mean, you're doing an interview with me, so you're clearly not training that hard. Not, not all the time. No, I'm prepping. Um, I will obviously it's all in relation like i'm not gonna sit in the lab 16 hours now but i will i will prep for the match um i think when there's little time and and not a crazy amount of hands it doesn't make sense to fundamentally start to roll up from beginning but i will try to um fix the or look into the spots like having my preflop ranges um properly sound and and flop on in three bed pots and single race pots um and just look into some of the more major situations again and then just for me it's mostly going to be going in and feeling great like i i think still in heads up i saw that when i played the legend showdown as well where i played basically the most of my heads up hands i think um that i realize i play much better when i'm really in the zone and and that there's definitely a lot of reads to be picked up on opponents and i think especially when we are on camera there will be some things i can pick up there so um, I'm mostly looking to just feel very good um, because I think that will then uh, have an impact on whether I can um, whether I can bring that to the table or not. That's true. I actually didn't consider how much actually being on Zoom could change the the dynamics oh, yeah. in more of a live setting, if you will, or making it more like that. Um, well. I know you don't have much time, so, but I want to touch at least a little bit on a few other things. Everyone knows we're super excited. It starts tomorrow. So actually this yeah. might go out the morning of the, <laughs> the event. What time are you guys going to start streaming and where can people watch it? Um, you can watch it. I think it's ggpoker.tv. Um, and yeah, it will be 30 minutes delay with whole cards. And we will be like, it's a, it's a setup where you will see us, our cameras while we play on one table so that's going to be fun um and it will start 7 p.m my time so Austria. almost yeah european time yeah european time well we will yeah. surely be glued to that and before i let you go i want to touch a little bit on just some other things going on in your life yes. you always have tons of stuff and actually uh, when i interviewed daniel a couple weeks ago he had said that he's really turned his focus to chess and that's kind yeah. of what he's really inspired by right now and what's motivating and interesting to him. And it seems like clearly this is something also that's been motivating and inspiring to you. Can you talk to me a little bit about this, this movement in the chess game? Yeah, I just really enjoy it. It's uh, very plain and simple. I started picking it up last year again. I used to enjoy it a lot as a child. I played for two years there and then kind of took a 15 year break. <laughs> I retired from from playing chess and then now I picked it up again and I started to like it uh, and just played like a couple of blitz games a day and then now a couple months ago I was um, getting in touch with other uh, mostly chess streamers and then we did some coaching and that's really when when I was like wow I, I I'm getting thirsty for more information and I started looking more into um, into openings and did a bit more preparation and it was mostly like how, how I studied poker more I play again a game and then I see a situation that I don't really know and I'm like oh I want to I want to know more about that and then I'll do some review and now it's it went from maybe 20 minutes a day to maybe two hours two three hours a day so um, it's quite quite intense now already and I actually do more theory I would say than I play so I, I really enjoy learning uh, and looking into engines and what they do and it's 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 quite refreshing um to to see a, a different field than poker yeah well obviously taking a little break from poker uh, was something that you were were thirsty for and have been using your time i think very wisely to do all kinds of other fun projects and mm -hmm. i think this is a really interesting time to be into chess actually there's some sort of i think 
global movement into the world of chess, of course, because of some of the, I think it's because of the TV shows and the things that have come out, but um, I can see a lot of crossover between, between poker and chess. And we've already seen that, of course, as we've seen a lot of chess players move into the poker space and vice versa. Now you're streaming some of your chess and also some of your poker. Yeah, both. Right now I stream, actually I, I did stream almost three or four times a week in the last two weeks. Um, so it was Sundays um, that I streamed my poker and then um, there is actually a really fun uh, Among Us round with some big German uh, Twitch streamers and YouTubers and that's that's actually such a nice group and so now we play once or twice a week we play Among Us but it's in German so uh, that's a limitation for English listeners. Um, and then I play whenever I feel like playing chess. Uh, right now, it's a bit less on a daily basis. It's more every two or three days I play a bit longer sessions. Mm, then I stream that as well. So uh, yeah, I, I've been streaming 10 to 20 hours uh, a week now, and I, I still like it. So let's see where that, that goes afterwards. And are you streaming on your own channel, or do you stream on GG? Uh, no, I stream on my own channel. It's slash crown up guy. Um, yeah, if you want to check it out, go check it out. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Lots of us will be there. Um, and of course, one of your other major projects, I think of the last, you know, four years or something was poker code. What's going on there? How much time or energy are you having, you know, invested in that at this point? Um, a lot recently. Uh, we are actually that's right now why it's it's a bit busy because we launched basically our biggest event up till today, uh, next week. And uh, it's still a bit secret, but um, it's going to have to do with Pokemon. That's why I have a ton of merch behind me. Um, so that's going to be really exciting. Uh, we will partner uh, with some of the biggest uh, Pokemon YouTubers and Twitchers. And that's, that's going to be very fun. So it's, for me, it's going to be a very overwhelming next two weeks. Yeah, so for those who don't understand or, or are not familiar with all the dynamics of what's happening with this uh, Heads Up Challenge, it, how many weeks are you guys going to do it and how frequently, how much, you know, basically or time are you going to put into this bad boy? So it will be very intense. We will be done in, in like basically 10 days, we will be done already. So um, we will play basically every two or three days. The dates will be released or maybe they have been released already. So our first match is tomorrow or the 5th um, of March. Then our next one will be the 8th of March, then 10th of March, and then probably the 13th. Like we're still confirming that. Um, so it's going to be um, four matches. We're going to play quite long sessions, so a couple hours. Um, so we will play 1,600 hands, 100, 200. So yeah, it will be uh, intense, short time frame, and uh, fun and a lot of alcohol. <laughs> it's going to be crazy for sure. How many tables are you guys going to play at once? Uh, just one. So then it's easier, like, especially with the life aspect. Yeah. I think it's much easier to play one. So, you know, like you always know when we talk about something, then, then you know what hand or table we're talking about. Yeah. I mean, from an entertainment perspective, I think it's just a lot easier for, for us, you know, out here in the regular world to see. Um, Okay, well, you have like five minutes left. So talk to me about anything else. What else is happening in, in the life and world of Fedor Holtz? Are you still working on the sort of sustainable living projects? Are you still invested in, you know, in some ways in fashion? Like what's, what else is going on? Yeah, so I would say a third of my week um, I spend in our fashion lab. Um, we actually gonna launch, or I'm gonna launch a, a hoodie this year. Um, that I've been working on since a year already. Just, just basically for me, uh, I, I don't really uh, have big ambitions with that. It's just um, some people started asking me about it and I just wanted to create one that I really like to wear because I, especially playing poker and being on the computer a lot. And when it gets a bit colder, just having something cozy that, um, that is comfy, um, that you feel good in, but that's also really good quality. Like that's kind of what I was looking into because I started suing myself and started to learn more about the material. And so I just wanted to create something where I feel like, wow, I, I actually really like that. And then maybe other people like it. Um, we will find that out. So that's uh, a part where mostly in the mornings and, and afternoons I'm there. Mm, and then the, the second bigger project is poker code where I'm mostly, I'm not very operationally involved, but 
around creating content and coaching and taking care of the community. So that's more my involvement there. Still playing some poker and doing some streaming. Um, so that's actually been piling up quite a bit lately. So it's much more than like in the last two, three months, it's much more than, than it used to be last year. I actually kind of like that slow, like that thing slowed down a bit. Um, and then, um, yeah, staying in touch with friends, spending time with friends or with my girlfriend um, and socializing as much as I can here reasonably. That's, that's something I really try to implement into my day to day if it's just coffee walks um that's like getting outside some fresh air like that's really important for me right now i can feel how much it has an impact on my on my well-being and besides that uh yeah i still have a lot of my investments where it's more uh, i found better ways to to manage it and, and talk to talk to the people involved and find good ways to to go forward so that's great and um yeah that's that's i would say the bigger part of of what i'm doing right now yeah, you've always got a full a full plate, clearly. <laughs> much less now, much less now. So uh, I'm happy about that. For a normal person such as myself, that's more than more than I can take. I, honestly, just wait to have a child probably for a long time because that takes like really big percentage of time in life. And like out of it, you have just the child still. Like there's not so much obvious uh, ROI. Um, but I did, I talked to Vivian Saliva last week who lives also in Austria, but in uh, like a, a small town somewhere. And she said basically everything is, is shut completely still. Is it like that in Vienna? Are, is there, are you able to do anything really in the like traditional world? Um, I actually don't know that well because I didn't really do, like I don't really go much in stores or shops. So our like we can open, we can with uh, the studio, there's people coming in. Um, so that works, but um, it's limited and it's with mask and so on. So it's obviously all reduced, but in terms of restaurants and so on, still everything closed. Um, so that's been for a long time now. It's approaching, I think three months or yeah, something like that. And it's, uh, I feel I'm getting used to it actually. It's really mostly about getting time outside. That's the most important for me is to if, if I don't leave the house, like then it definitely wears on my mindset. Yeah, I have the same thing. You've got to take a walk. You've got to get out, see the sunshine, oh, just boy. even for a little bit. Let the sun be on your skin. You can like actually feel it, I think, sometimes when you like the sun gets on your skin, you're like, oh my gosh, yes, I'm yeah. receiving energy right now. It's happening. It's really crazy. And are you playing the piano or does someone who lives with you play the piano? Um, no, I'm faking playing the piano. It's it's it's, it's behind me. Um, I get this question so often. Uh, uh, no, it's I I bought it um, because I really like to have one. Uh, especially like we we sing here sometimes with friends. A friend of mine plays really well. Um, so I'm actually really happy I have it. But yeah. I never really got to learn it much better than playing playing a couple tunes. So not that very can be good the next it. thing after you become a grandmaster in chess then next you can become a... unlikely <laughs> for either of these but let's see you know maybe i i you never know what's going to happen maybe the a, a piano flash comes at some point and i start getting more into it i i would not be surprised well i again i'm just so grateful i really appreciate you taking the time and as a viewer of poker content i am very, very excited to see what goes down in this heads up match. If nothing else, it will be entertainment, entertaining. And if that's your guys' ultimate goal, then I think we are already a week in very much entertained. So thank you so much, my dear. And we will hopefully catch up not too long from now. Maybe we can talk about the results and all that. For sure. Let's do that.